Guys, I know you all have heard of the latest news eh, about the uh, Nubla Consul Komulse, Justin Olbruga, the former Consul Taidense. And, uh, you know, people have been giving their opinions here and there, to at the some, some agreeing, some disagreeing, whatever, but I'm just going to give my opinion, okay? Basically, this is my opinion. I don't question his ability to coach. I don't question his coaching skills. I don't question his CV as a coach is caliber or whatever as a coach i do not question that all right that, that guy has been in the business for a while now and he's been at the top you know in, in the big leagues in nrl and coaching titans with him that's an nrl team so he has experience he has the skills the abilities the know-hows he knows the ins and outs of the game the technicalities of the game he knows all these things are we cannot question that and i will never question that though there is one thing that i will question and that one thing is his passion for our team, our national team, and for our nation as a whole. Because that's one thing that I've observed along the years with him, with all these expatriate coaches, all the time, man. like for example, Marmeninga, uh, Wayne Bennett, and others. All the time, these guys they get get, get paid a lot as a coach, but uh, they have never like elevated or brought our team to a higher rankings you didn't at the time how many have been stopped our team was the worst performing in its whole history eh? the world cup will go eh? the, when was that uh 2013 england world cup eh? that was the worst eh? you lose him all three games eh? and then our rankings were just just way below top 10 was kind of and then even what's his name uh wayne bennett as well and then all these guys and then you just look at um guys like um michael marum Michael Marum now is the member I'm staff, eh? the former coach for Kumuls now, and that's it. Michael Marum, PNG product, you know, man. born and bred PNG, PNG system, everything comes through PNG now. I'm going to, he became the coach now, so they um, entrusted him with the role to coach the Kumuls now, so I'm coaching Gustre now. That was when he brought Kumuls to, into the top four, you know, you missed out the top four, top five or something, you know, man. in a long time we have never been to the top five, you know, how many years, eh? You miss a thousand the top five and even top ten to you the top four, top five eating him. And that was because of Michael Marum eating him. Our own born and bred local coach eating him. And then such things like that eating him. So for me, like Osemi Tonga, I don't question all Brooks uh, ability to coach or his skills or his CV, his caliber, whatever. Alright, he's the he's one of the best coaches in in the rugby league world. You mean to say right now. But I only question his passion for the game, eating him. Like do these expatriate coaches, you you just have to ask these questions. Like, are they coming here just for the money and just for a job, just for a role, or are they coming here out of passion to help our team, to help our nation, to help rugby league in our nation and all these kind of things? You have to question these kind of things, eating him. Because if you give it to local coaches, at least they know the system already. They know the style of play that PNG we got. They know all these type of things that, you know, we as PNG have. They know these things, so they can coach from experience, um, coach from, you know, knowledge and coach from what they know works for Papua New Guineans. But these expatriates will come here, they come from a different world. They basically, they've been coaching in a different country, Australia or wherever our coach will come here. So they don't really understand the PNG style of play. Now. They don't really bring that passion to the game you know, compared to you know, our own local coaches. Uh, they, they probably just treat it like a job or something like that. It, it's not really a passion for them. You know. So th that's the only thing that I question, but hey, it, it remains to be uh, said. Uh, you know, you just stop to and let's give him a chance. Huh? Let's give him a chance to even look if Allbrook can come and if he can really show that he can coach really well, plus he can show the passion for our game, huh? passion for our sport, our national sport, um, passion for um, rugby league, our, our team, the Kumuls, passion for our country and all of this that involves the role that he, you know, has been entitled, uh, entrusted with. Huh? So, I mean, I'm, I'm, he already has the role now, so we cannot do anything about that, but uh, Osemi Toga, that's the Amosem <coughs> Lili. Tintin Mixim, I see that it's a trend where expatriates, <coughs> coaches, they don't uh, do well um, coaching our team. Uh, 
uh, they don't really do well uh, compared to our local boys. So that's a coach. At least they coach with passion. Uh, they coach with the hardness, like I ensure. That, that's just something with me. Observing them, sure, I mean, I talk. Sharing me the thing, let me show you slash show. If you guys have any other things to add to that, please you better on to that now. Anyway, you just just give him a chance and let's let's see where we go. If it if it's the same thing, just like any other expatriate coach, or just come to the coach next year, many is like then it's too bad, uh, unfortunately for us. But if Olbrook is a different guy, you know, he's coming with pure intentions. Uh, he's coming here with a passion for the game, passion for a national team, passion for our country. Plus, he's a good coach as well, and he comes to you know with the right intentions. Then definitely, I I, I really think that. We can make it back to the top five or top four if we're not there yet. I don't know. I haven't checked the ranking so far, but we can even go past there. That we can do very well because uh, we have a lot of new talent coming in, especially a very talented guys, uh, good prospects coming through the system. And I mean, we don't have really have a good system in PNG, but the system meaning in Australia, a lot of young guys in the Queensland Cup, New South Wales Cup, and all these kind of things. A lot of good guys coming through PNG as well too, but. We'll just wait and see uh, what Mr. Justin Holbrook can do there. Anyways, good night, you